Vision improvements reported for RP patients in Phase 2B clinical trial of Nanoscope's optogenetic therapy. Nanoscope has reported that 16 of 18 patients with advanced vision loss from retinitis pigmentosa in the RESTORE Phase 2B clinical trial for its optogenetic therapy were able to better complete at least one of two tests under low luminance, a simple Y mobility test or a shape recognition test. In the sham or placebo group, four of nine patients were able to better complete at least one of these tests. The company also said that seven of 18 participants in the treatment group had improved best corrected visual acuity or BCVA of minus 0.3 logmar. In comparison, one person in the sham group had improved BCVA. Logmar is a visual acuity test in which a lower number indicates better visual acuity. For example, a logmar of 0.0 is equivalent to 2020 vision, and a logmar of 2.0 is equivalent to 22,000 vision. Baseline vision in the patient eyes to be treated was hand motion or counting fingers. That is worse than a logmar of 1.9 or 201600 vision. The company says that the improvements in vision are clinically meaningful. The treatment was also well tolerated with no serious or adverse events in treated patients. The treatment MCO-10 is designed for people who have lost most or all of their photoreceptors, the cells that make vision possible. The treatment, a small drop of liquid delivered by an intravitreal injection, uses a human-engineered virus to deliver copies of a multi-characteristic opsin, or MCO, gene to bipolar cells, cells that don't normally sense light but often survive after photoreceptors are lost to advanced retinal disease. The company says that MCO10 is enabling the recipient's bipolar cells to sense ambient light, thereby working as a backup system for lost photoreceptors. The approach doesn't use goggles or eyewear to enhance the visual information coming into the retinas. This has been Ben Shaberman, Vice President of Science Communications at the Foundation Fighting Blindness.